All right, everyone, this is Cajun. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first video, so hopefully it comes out okay. As you can see from Diamond Art Square, it is Black Heart Ballet by a very talented Christopher Lavelle. Unless you're in the, the other side of the ocean, then it's Lavelle. So as you can see, it is a whole 27.6 and 39.8 inches. It's going to be massive. Or unless you use the centimeters, which is 70 centimeters by 101. So, yeah, this is going to be extraordinarily large. But hopefully, and most, if anything like anything that Chris Lavelle does, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So, let's go ahead and let's get this bad boy open. I cheated, yes, I cut it open already. You know, that's everybody knows the worst part of getting one of these is hurrying up to get to see what everything is. So here we go. So inside you get one of these toolkits, which everybody already knows. If it's a square, you're going to get the comfort grip. You're gonna get the applicator, i.e. the pin, uh, the heart-shaped wax, the craft tray, the tray stopper, the multiplacer, the cover minder, which everybody loves, the washi tape and Ziploc baggies, which everybody, if this isn't your first one, Lord knows you got plenty of. And since it is squared, you get a pair of tweezers. So enough of that. We're gonna get into this, oh, massive one. Anything in the box? Nothing in the box. All right. So here we go. So you're also gonna get a beautiful little schematic, a little small one, of, which a lot of people they put on their boxes, so that way, in case you wanna figure out which one's which. Me, I like to collect them like baseball cards. So put it on the side, put it in a little plastic cover. That works for it too. So we're gonna open this up. My favorite part. Here's all your beautiful colored drills, which I've already heard is a lot of black, as you can see. The black and purple, black and pinks should be absolutely gorgeous. Also, you get from Diamond Art Club a thank you, which, let's be honest, hardly everybody ever reads because it always tells you what to do and gives you the VIP Facebook page in case you're not a part of it. If this isn't your first one, nine times out of 10, you are a part of it. Also gives you tricks and tips and tricks for everybody. Also a 10% and everything like that. So yeah, we got this, we're done with that one. You also get another beautiful schematic, but also a lar much larger one than a small baseball card, baseball card type. Also gives, tells you the, that it's a square also gives you the different schematics of what it is and also the different colors that you have. Now, the thing that I love about Diamond Art Club is that anything under 150 is a AB, which you can tell this one has one AB. And down at the bottom, it also has one fairy dust. So in case you're brand new to Diamond Art Club, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which everybody knows is the Northern Lights. So those drills are gonna have just a slight bit difference of a shimmer within it. We're gonna take a look at it and see from there. So now that we got all of that done, let us take a look at this beautiful, oh, hang on, we gotta do it the other way. No peeking now. So the thing that I love about Diamond Arts Club and their canvases is that they are self-lying canvases. So which means that if you just let it sit for a little bit, it will flatten out. But because we don't have the time and I'm planning on starting this tonight, I want to get this flattened out. So again, at the bottom, it has what you have, the schematics of it, the artist, 
that it is Diamond Art Club. And again, it is also mentions because it shows that Diamond Art Club actually pays royalties to the artist or actually pays the artist in order to do their artwork. In the middle, it has the different socials for Diamond Art Club, the Facebook, also Instagram. If you follow one, you should follow the other one. I got my Instagram just because of Diamond Art Club. And also, it has a lifetime warranty. If you are the original purchaser of it, you are you have a lifetime warranty on your canvas. If you lose some drills, if you need anything like that, you can notify Diamond Art Club. Their customer support is phenomenal. Love them. Great. So, ready? One, two. Wow. This is absolutely gorgeous. Just coming from a guy's perspective, it has the little feminality with the purples, excuse me, the purples, the pinks, the black. Um, but it also has that little ruggedness, especially with the different skulls on both sides, the candles. Almost has like a Phantom of the Opera, kind of the the old time the old style movie posters again you have the main skull that's dancing with the beautiful female completely fold out gentleman in the back i guess you can call it a gentleman i hope it was a gentleman but that's the skull guy we'll call him the skull guy also the lady has a beautiful fan that's on the side also, you have the background. You have, looks like a, like a small town. And also in the background of everybody else, it almost has that little Japanese kind of look to it as far as um, the background. And let's see, we're going to go up to the top. You got it gives it a little bit of a kind of like a theater look to it with the... The different um, masks and whatnot. And also at the top you have matching candles, same as the bottom. The thing that I love about this is the actual border. I love that it is bordered all the way around. The paper is something that I love that Diamond Art is doing is this perforated pages. The reason why I like doing that with the reason why I like the perforated pages, I like to do it by sections instead of having to deal with washi taping a section off or hoping that I get it straight. I, whenever I do it, I literally, I do it a square at a time and go from top to bottoms, well, side to side, top to bottom. So again, you also have a schematic at the top left hand corner. And also on the bottom right. So if you're working on the bottom, you got the schematic that's right here. Um, and as you work your way up, you can work your way to this area right here. And you can actually see what it is. Unless you're like me and you forget all it is, then you can actually, again, use this schematic. Which is actually good because when you're kidding up, you can use them because they're these are actually perforated as well to where you can just put them on the jars makes it easier for you whenever you're looking at your canvas to try to figure out instead of look, going back and forth looking in what you're on your canvas what color you're looking for you can literally see okay so number one again it's 127 which if you're just looking at the at your painting you can look here and you can see where it says one and one it makes it easier now this canvas right here isn't exactly which is surprising and I know a lot of people are with a canvas this size you would expect it to have a lot of color but as you can see it just has 18 colors but again a beautiful rendition of it um, I can't say enough from uh, about Chris Lavelle I think that he is extremely talented. Um, I got quite a few 
of his paintings. And this one came out about a, two weeks ago. So um, I noticed that there was only one person that did an unboxing. Well, it was actually a sneak peek. So um was just debating on, like, you know what? There's not many people that do an unboxing and give a different opinion about it. Um, specifically because of guys. I know a lot of guys are doing more and more diamond art paintings. I know this was mostly for uh, females, which, again, it gives you something to do with your specific person, your guy or lady. So I know a lot of couples are now diamond arting together, and it's kind of easy to just diamond art while you're watching TV, listening to TV or anything like that. So again, we're going back to it and we're looking as far as the the AB, which is again, Oreo Borealis, which is 121, which is number one. So if we look, I have a feeling that it is going to be in this area right here which if you look, it does have number one. So this right here is gonna be a beautiful AB, all of this area right here, a little bit in her face. So they did it very sporadically as far as where they're going, where they were going with it. Um, again, I absolutely love the coloring of it. I love the, the way that each individual symbol is clear i've had some where i couldn't see where the where the um what the symbol was what was supposed to be laid but as you can see even in this area right here with the the different pinks it's crystal clear even whenever it's mixed in with the blue and everything in between the blacks are are beautifully done as well um let me see. Let me get more. There we go. Um, even the detail of the anatomical heart, which is actually, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, let me see. Sorry about the glare. Let's try to get it. There we go. So, again, it's a beautiful rendition. Um, Crystal Bell, like I said, he does a lot of great work. Um, he does a lot of, I don't want to say dark fantasy, but he, a lot of people, he, he even says uh, on his YouTube channel that the stuff that he does is dark, but for this one, it's kind of like an in-between. I like, I like how it's kind of dark, but it still has that nice little old time kind of finish. It, like I said, it reminds me of Phantom of the Opera meets an old style, old time style movie poster. So I'm going to be cracking into this one today. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be working on it because of the uh, Lavellathon 2024. So I can't wait to get into this. And now this is the part everybody hates is the getting into the actual colors, all that are crinkling. So just give me one second. Everybody hold your ears. One, two. We're going to slide through this as quickly as we can. All right. So. And. Yeah. That many. So. I've already heard the rumors about this in the blacks. So. I'm actually curious to see how many. Everybody's ready? Are y'all gonna count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That's twenty. That's a whole strand right there of just three ten. So where are we at? 20, yes, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I don't know if that's a record or not. Uh, somebody definitely, um, if you're watching this, put, me, put in a comment if you think that there's one that has more than 26. 
And what I love about DA, DAC is that they do the drills in-house. So this is their own beautiful texture they have. And as we said, right off the bat, this is the beautiful AB drill, which is, again, Aria Boralis. If you look and see, you can see where it shimmers just a little bit different than the black one. So it's got a little bit of a shimmer that's, on, that's actually on it. So we got one, two, three, four, five of the 127 ABs. So this is going to be beautiful. You can reach. We got one of 844. We got one, two, three, three of the 3326. We got one, two, three, four of the fairy dust, which is the uh, 3733, which again, the fairy dust. Stand, it's got the Z, of course. Fairy dust, and it shimmers and shines just a little bit different than all of the rest of them, which, if we put them together, you'll see the difference between all of them. Again, this is the normal drill. This is your AB. And this right here is the fairy dust. The fairy dust has a nice little glittery look to it. That as um. How does Miss Coffee say? It's not going to come off on you, your spouse, or your loved ones as you work on it. I love Miss Coffee. Shout out to you, girl. Keep doing what you're doing. And we got one of one of 151. Last but not least on the rock, we got one, two, three, four of the 317. We got another fairy dust. So we got two fairy dust. Nine Z931. Again, look at that glimmer. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love it right there. You can actually see the shine right here. We got one, two, three of the 413. We got one, two of the 37. 3799. We got one, two of the 161. We got one of the 414. One of the 963. We got one of the 318. One of the 3713. Very low. Now we're getting into the small little speckles. One of the 415. One of the 961 and one of the 762. So, all together, guys, this is the absolute color palette on this beautiful piece right here. And as you see, unfortunately, some of them are already coming out. Let me see. This actually looks like it's going to have a little bit of a shimmer. Let's see if I can, if I can get it out. And we can actually see. Up. Ah, there we go. So that's what one of the regular uh, three tens look like. If you ever want, if you're new to it or you're trying to figure out, hey, is this something that I want to get into? So now that we got all of that situated, and something that I forgot to do. I explained this, but we didn't go through it. What was I thinking? I was just so excited to actually look at the canvas, to look at the colors, to go through everything. I actually forgot. This is kind of the dessert. The main course, dessert. Main course, dessert. So let's crack into dessert, dessert now. Because everybody likes dessert, right? I don't know about you, but I do. Especially after you get a good meal and you get a nice little... Get you a nice coffee afterwards, and then you get a dessert. It just makes your belly go bloop. Okay, maybe not, but okay. So, okay, so we're going to move this off to the side. And, again, everything that we that I said, the applicator, which this beautiful one is a gorgeous, I love the yellow. Almost reminds me of, like, lemonade. And most of the time, these will actually match together. 
Sometimes it'll be a little bit up, but what I like about Diamond Art Club, they try to match these uh, pretty well. So again, these are nice and comfortable. You just come, you just push this far down right here, and these you'll actually start getting these nice little calluses because you put down so much. What can I say? I do them. I do so many of these so much. So this is actually going to be my fourth one. No, excuse me, my fifth one, my second crystal bell. So yeah, I'm starting to get the little calluses. So also, again, the little tray with the wax. Whenever you do get the wax, make sure that you lift the cover like so. So that way you can get to the wax. Don't do like what I did on my very first one and try to stick it through the through the paint through the plastic. Cause guess what? It won't work. I tried so many times. I, I'm I'm trying to push through, push through. I'm like, it's not collect and yeah. That was definitely what what did Homer Simpson? Dope! Yeah, that was one of my dope moments. The little washi tape. Again, the pins and the washi tape as as well as the cover miners all differ from kit to kit. I, I absolutely love this one. I think it goes perfect with the way that all of the backgrounds are with the, the the canvas and the painting and everything it looks gorgeous so and then you have the cover minder the almighty cover minder this is what a lot of people they love they don't care about any of this other stuff they want the cover minder forget about this some people maybe the washi tape maybe but definitely the cover minder again i love that it's a beautiful flower um I have yet to get this one in a kit that I have done, so it's always really nice to have. Um, also, you have two multi-placers. Again, I, re I don't do a lot of multi-placing, but then again, that's just me. Um, oh, yeah, see, there's more. So we'll just put that off to the side again. Don't need that one. We'll keep those right there. You do have a tray that it does come with a cover to where you can actually, whenever you're trying doing your drills and you're tilting it, it'll actually stop instead of doing like what I did one time, not realize that this goes here. I'm shaking it and I'm trying to dump it in. It does that right there. Perfect example of what happens. Anyway. Don't let that happen to you. Actually use the little cover to put right here. And most of the time, it'll either stick right here or it'll stay in this area. So it'll just be right here. Last but not least, if you ever get upset with your spouse, significant other, with your kids, take this away from them. This is the beautiful tweezers. And yes, these suckers are sharp. Wait, let me see if I can get this in close. There you go. This suck, these are sharp. If anybody has ever stuck themselves with this, they you realize it. I'm telling you right now, I don't know which one's sharper, a knife or this right here. I think if they read if they do another Michael Myers movie, they might actually have these instead. Don't know. We'll have to see. Hopefully I don't get in trouble because of trademark or whatever, but still, it was funny as hell, so I had to go for it. So, guys, this is the new the well new. It's actually sold out right now. So the reason why I wanted to do it is, is that I've had a couple of, I've had a couple of uh, kits that I was deciding on and I went on YouTube, looked it up and I had some, uh, and I watched people's videos on it. And that was the deciding factor on whether or not if I was going to get it or not. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Yes, I know it was long winded and whatnot, but, um, if you like it, great. Subscribe. If you really liked it, feel free to comment. If you didn't, eh, comment anyway. It can only get better from here, right? So again, Chris Lavelle, again, uh, Blackheart Ballet. Hopefully they re-release it somewhat fairly soon because it literally sold out within, I want to say, half hour to an hour. It completely sold out in the VIP, like Within a half hour, it sold out. Then they re-released it, and I think it lasted another half hour. If, an, if within an hour, it was completely gone. So again, I absolutely love this this canvas. I can't wait to get started. Um, I have a feeling that I'm going to see black 
in my sleep. Because, again, 26 bags of black. But, um, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what this comes out with. Because, again, Crystal Bell is, is so talented. I know I said that already. But I can't say it enough. He's completely talented. That's why he's one of my favorite artists. Shout out to Chris Lavelle. Hoorah. Anyway, so um, I'm going to get started on this. Otherwise, uh, see y'all soon and um, stick around. There might be another uh, video coming around later on. Later.